good evening and um, thank you for being here. It's a great, great pleasure and honor for me to be here at uh, Hundici tonight. Um, I'm Elisa Scavino. With my sister Enrica, I represent the fourth uh, generation of my family winery, uh, Paolo Scavino. In uh, 1921, uh, my great-grandfather Lorenzo and my grandfather Paolo uh, founded the, the winery uh, in the commune of uh, Castiglione Falletto, uh, which is uh, one of the 11 villages of the Barolo area. So in, um, to be a winemaker in my family, I can fairly say that is a quite a tradition. I was um, just recently talking with uh, my aunt uh, and trying to find out uh, uh, the family trees of, uh, on the side of my father. Uh, so trying to understand the name of my ancestor and what they were doing. And no matter if it was on my grandmother or my grandfather's side, everyone was involved in the winemaking. So everyone was growing grapes uh, and apparently it was everything that <laughs> people could do in, in the Langa at, in that time. And so I concluded it must be quite genetic that is going forward and forward. Um, so my father, um, Enrico, is the one maker. And um, he started uh, in the 51 when he was 10 years old. Uh, to work with his uh, father, uh, Paolo. And um, so this year will be his uh, 60th harvest. Um, so it's uh, quite, uh, <laughs> quite something. And um, he's the one that um, focus on, um, on the wine making. Uh, so he little by little uh, started to invest in important uh, Grand Cru uh, vineyards uh, in the in the Barolo area. So today we work with uh, um, 18 Grand Cru uh, historical vineyards uh, in six of the 11 villages of uh, of the Barolo appellation. Um, so what uh, uh, he received uh, in heritage um, was. Uh, uh, to pursue the ambition to pursue quality, even uh, in a time when quality was not paid for. Um, quality means uh, uh, growing wisely the grapes uh, and trying to get uh, the potential, the character of the grapes uh, and the terroir and the character of the vintage into the wine. So um, wine is a, is a motion no? and is considered a form of art. Uh, for me, when I think about art, I think about artists uh, shaping marble stone or bronze or clay painting. No? Uh, but uh, the winemaker never starts from uh, a white canvas start from grapes that have their own personality, uh, their own uh, character. So what, what we don't create anything. We are transforming uh, something that, um, and, and we have to respect the most this diversity. So that is uh, the guideline of our work and what we are trying to do. 2010, uh, it's a beautiful, one of the great, great, great uh, uh, vintage in uh, Langa. Very classic, it's a pure energy, very late harvest. It means that the vines worked uh, wonderfully and gradually, uh, slowly through the whole summer. So the complexity of this vintage is huge. Um, so uh, yes, we are very, very happy with this. And uh, Dolcetto is a, a beautiful local red varietal of Piemont. Uh, once upon a time, Dolcetto was one of the most popular and um, uh, consumed uh, um, varietal of, of our area. 
So still today you can find some of these old uh, vineyards, old vines uh, planted in the, in the vineyards. Uh, but uh, um, in the Barolo area uh, today many, many <laughs> wineries are taking out Dolcetto to replant with Nebbiolo in the great exposure for Nebbiolo for Barolo. So it's a variety that is a little bit uh, disappearing. Uh, even if it's uh, uh, one of the, the most uh, uh, really is a historical uh, varietal for our, for our zone. This dolcetto comes from two Grand Cru vineyards, Vignolo and Brig del Fiasco, that we keep, uh, we try to keep uh, alive since the beginning. So we have no intention to replant with Nebbiolo and uh, uh, dolcetto, it's quite fruity. It's, uh, very aromatically expressive nose, roses and a lot of blueberry uh, fruit um, in the aroma. And as um, literally dolcetto means uh, the little sweet one because uh, it's the one that always has uh, the lowest acidity. No? Uh, it's the first grape that we pick in September. Uh, when it's exhausted from the heat of the summer, the berry falls down, so we have to rush and hopefully we arrive before they fall. <laughs> so it's a fun varietal and a uh, um, little bit more tannic than Barbera, but we try to keep it, uh, to have a very soft end on this varietal, to have a uh, very delicate uh, extraction so we can keep the finesse and the freshness uh, in the wine. So thank you very much, enjoy and wow. see you later. <laughs>